As we've been reporting, Hurricane Michael hit the Florida panhandle Wednesday. Nearly 30 million people in the southeast will be impacted by the storm, which is one of the strongest hurricanes to ever hit the continental United States. Mark DeMaria is chief of technology and science at the National Hurricane Center. He joins me now from Miami. Mark, let's start with the latest on Michael. Where is it now and where is it headed? Uh, right now it's uh, moved into southwest Georgia and it's going to continue across the state of Georgia into uh, South Carolina, into North Carolina, and then out to sea. And we're also still seeing from the Doppler radar, we're also still seeing winds up to about 100 miles per hour in this small area near the core. So uh, uh, Michael's not done yet. Well, what is the biggest threat then going forward? Uh, right now, the threat is still going to be from wind along a narrow path along the center. Mm -hmm. uh, this area of Georgia is, is heavily wooded, and it doesn't take a lot of wind in that inland area to, to knock down trees and cause uh, power outages. So we still anticipate uh, some wind damage along the way, that in combination with uh, rainfall totals of four to six inches along the path. Is it unusual, Mark, for a storm to stay this powerful this far inland? No, actually, the, uh, the a general rule of thumb is that a hurricane can it loses about half its intensity in, in 10 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, because this went in at 150 miles per hour, it can, it can stay a hurricane for up to 10 hours. And it moving pretty fast, it can, those winds can penetrate very far inland. So it's not over yet is the bottom line. Mm -hmm. All right, Mark DeMaria. Mark, thank you very much. Welcome.